This is a generation of young Somalis growing up traumatized by war and famine. In this group therapy session, children are encouraged to talk about their experiences. Each child has a painful story to tell. Like Mariam Mohamed Addo, her father died in the famine, she spent the last six months here, and there are hopeful signs. They give us protection here, they give us things to play with, we feel safer, I'm not sad anymore. This local UN-funded scheme is called Child Friendly Spaces in Unfriendly Times. For a few hours a day, children get away from the chaos of life in Mogadishu's camps. His children have survived one of the worst famines in Somalia's history. The space may not seem like much, but it gives these girls and boys a chance to relive their lost childhood. Hundreds of thousands of people have fled Somalia's famine hit areas searching for food. In the confusion, Shoab Abdi Ahmed was separated from his family. Somehow he made it to Mogadishu and was brought to the center and against the odds, reunited with his mother. I thought I would never find my son again. So when I saw him, I just couldn't believe it was him. I started crying. I was so happy. Muna Ali has spent her life protecting young people. She says children of war will carry what they've seen with them for the rest of their lives. They have psychological problems like nightmares in the, mind. In the night time. They scream while they are sleeping. They also withdraw with the other children. They isolate themselves, those who have the impact of the war. The United Nations is warning more Somali children are going to be killed, injured, and in some cases forced to fight in the country's seemingly never-ending war. But at least these boys and girls have found a place where they can enjoy being children. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu.